Hello guys, I am Ravi Paliwal and today in the continuation of the Wireshack series, we are going to cover the TCP part. So let's go with the TCP part. So uh, what we are going to do first that we are going to download a text file from this link. So I have already downloaded that text file. You, you also download. Okay. So next we have to visit uh, on this link and we have to upload the uh, file and capture the TCP packets. So I'll go to this link, okay, in the browser, and I'll open my Wireshark also. I'll choose the file that I have downloaded, that is lice.txt. So I have chosen the file. Now I'll start capturing. So I have started uh, capturing. Sorry, I will uh, remove the filter first. Okay, so now I'll start capturing and i'll upload the file so we'll wait till the file is uploaded completely and then we stop our capture so let's stop capturing and now we filter first using http so we can see that we have made a post request so why we have filtered first using http because tcp requests are many so we can't find that uh, which request is uh, related uh, to the activity we have done recently okay so we have made a uh, filter as http and we'll find that we have made a post request on this website okay so uh, we'll open this when we uh, where we have uh, made a post request so from here you can see that the source port is 1646 means our laptops for port number 1646 is communicating with the server so we'll uh, right click on this and we'll apply as a filter and then click on selected so we can see that this is uh, all tcp communications with source port 1646 we can get okay so you can analyze from here that uh, where is the first uh, sequence okay so there should be a three way hand checking here so i'll show you the three way hand checking so there should there is a sin uh, somewhere so first we apply tcp okay so you can see here somewhere the, uh, there should be sin uh, message of tcp available okay so yeah uh, uh, this is uh, between uh, not uh, between uh, our application because this is 1646 uh, for uh, 53 okay so we'll find the sin message and sometimes sometimes the sin message is missing due to uh, multiple retry because i have already uh, already tried this before ma making this video so it is not again and again uh, hand checking okay so you can see that uh, there is a uh, fil we'll apply again filter that tcp dot source port is 1646 okay and we can see that uh, the first message is uh, with sequence number one and its uh, its length is uh, 710 and window size is 256 so uh, this tcp transfer is using window size 256 okay so uh, you know that how tcp decides uh, the window side uh, window size uh, during the handshake so you can use this information to uh, analyze the tcp network okay so uh, you can identify various information from here uh, i'll show you the uh, uh, show you a graph using that graph you can identify tcp slow start uh, mechanism uh, where it started and where it uh, not uh, where it uh, stopped okay so in the tcp uh, stream graph you you can see that time sequence graph okay so this in this graph uh, we'll zoom out zoom in So in this graph, you can see that 
the sequence number versus time okay so you can analyze the graph that how the sequence number is going on uh, with time okay so how much time it is taking to transfer a uh, data of a request okay you can also see various other graphs here that graphs are uh, the round trip time graph and window scaling graph so window scaling is not done in this uh, case window scaling is done when your network interrupts and uh, there is a need of scaling the window size means transfer rate okay so it sometimes uh, may be helpful for you to uh, seeing that how windows is uh, window is scaled okay so you can see another graph that is round trip time okay so you can see that round trip time is around 5.5 uh, to 5.6 between 5.5 to 5.6 and you can see the data actually that is 5.917 second okay so you can analyze various information from here okay so here is the http also showing uh, showing the uh, data that uh, you can see the data from here that uh, we what data we have sent so this is multi-part media encapsulation and it, its type is multi-part form data and you can see the data that is uh, given here okay so this data we have sent and the tcp port number is destination port is 80 and source port is 1646 uh, we can also apply filter from here okay you will uh, remember this thing okay this is going to help you many times okay so you can see this, this is finished means uh, in this uh, request the transfer is uh, being finished okay uh, you can also see that this is psh psh means that you don't want to buffer data anymore you you have ended the request okay so in in this you have completed the transfer okay you can also analyze various things that uh, the, the in this sequence numbers packet what data how much data is transferred and many things okay so in this way you can analyze the tcp packets and in this manual i have already uh, covered many things that how you can analyze the time, time sequence graph and uh, the window scaling and uh, many things okay so you can also explore many things by your own and thank you for now and we'll meet in the next lab uh, with the other topics okay so thank you guys if you like my videos then please uh, subscribe my channel okay